Welcome to another edition of IMO Sports with Pedro Justice. Even Yordanis Ugas met Kobe Bryant in 2008. Mamba mentality was on display tonight for sure. You could tell Ugas meant business. It seemed as though he was in control of this fight from the very start. At no time in this fight did I feel Mike Dallas Jr. had a chance to win the fight. He looked so stiff the whole time. Like he said, he only gets nervous before the um, other fights, lower tier fights. But it seems as though he was just stiff. Like he wasn't loose. Like he was looking to get knocked out again. And it was just bad body language. His legs were just so stiff. Ugas did whatever he wanted to do. He was patient. He was focused. He concentrated. And he put hands on him. Now, when it came to the slip, I want you to tell me, do you think this was a knockdown or a slip? Now, he didn't hit him in the face. He actually hit him in the arm. And they called it a push. Now, to me, he swung. He hit a part of his body. And he went down. I don't see a push. I just see he got knocked down by the force because as I was stating... His legs were so stiff. His balance was terrible. And he looked like he was ready to lose. So when he was in his corner, I was just waiting for them to stop the fight because it didn't seem like he had it. Now, he is a skilled professional. And when they did the backstory, it looked like he was ready to bring it. But when he came out for the fight and the bell rang and he looked in the uh, your Dennis Ugas eyes, you could see he didn't have it. And with these right hands that Dallas was taking all night, he didn't have anything. So congratulations to your Dennis Ugas. You earned it. You had that Mamba mentality and you're looking for gold. Let me know what you think. Until next time, it's Pedro Justice.